What's up everybody? Welcome back to Chicano's Talk TV. Today we got a very special guest on Chicano's Talk TV. It's our first official interview. As I mentioned in the past, we're going to be interviewing lots of local entrepreneurs, artists, business owners, stuff like that. So we hope you guys enjoy these videos. If there's anybody you want to see specifically on the channel, drop a comment down below and we'll do our best to try to reach out to them and get them on the show. Um, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, that way you don't miss the next video. Many of you already know our special guest from the things he's done for our community to the entertainment that he's brought to the city. Josh Perez, what's up, brother? What's up, my brother? Lots of for being here, brother. Well. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you're right now. It's a blessing to be with you guys on Chicano TV, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, bro. Let's just jump. We're just going to jump right into this. Okay. We've got a few questions. Um, bro, where are you from and how old are you? I'm right here from Burke, you know what I'm saying? I'm from New Mexico, I'm 28 years old, lived here my whole life and, uh, oh, yeah. you know, just trying to touch everybody in the city and try to reach out to everybody so we work together. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Fuck yeah. What part of town are you from? And tell us a little bit about growing up here in Albuquerque. I grew up with my grandma. Um, I grew up on uh, Dolly and La Vega Road in the South Valley. Uh, my grandma had passed away in 2001. And uh, I moved with my mom, you know, we were always with my grandma, we always loved to be with her and, and with my mom. Yeah. And then uh, I moved to the west side up there by Shire and 114th Street, I was up there for a while. And you know, that's where I, I grew up and, you know, did most of my growing up at. Yeah, right on, bro. How was your childhood growing up here in the city? My childhood was good, you know, I had a good family and uh, good people that motivated me and that kept pushing me to be better okay. than, than them in their past. Yeah. yeah. So, I grew up on La Vega. Oh, yeah, I just love it. South Valley too? Yeah, nice, South Valley. Nice. Nice. Okay. That's what's up, brother. Uh, for those that don't know who you are, bro, tell us about a little about what you do. My name is Josh uh, Perez, a.k.a. Unique. Um, I do a, a little bit of everything, brother. You know, I try to get my hand in whatever I can and, and try to work with everybody and, and you know what I'm saying I, I do promoting concerts I I get involved a lot in the community That's and, and uh, you know I just yeah. try to push myself to be better than who I was you know what I'm yeah. saying so yeah. I, I try to motivate myself every day get in that mirror hey you gotta do this you gotta do this yeah. and I, yeah. I don't let nothing stop me you know they just gotta keep going and Straight up. ignore it yes. yeah, oh, yeah. That's what, good, what made you want to get involved with what you just said, promotion, so, community, all that stuff, the stuff you do. I work with uh, Paul Trujillo um, and Charm, oh, they're, they're my cousin, oh, yeah, yeah. so I work with them, oh, I started yeah. out with them. Um, I met Six in uh, Route 66 at a concert, I believe okay. it was Baby Bash. Oh, and um, you know, me and Six I started chopping it up, he opened up his bar and ever since I, I worked with him and then the last few years, you know, he's, he's taught me a, a little bit of everything and oh, yeah. you know I, I've been a little bit on my own on, oh, yeah. on stuff doing my, my own stuff that's what's so, bro, big, bro. Yeah. it's good to have someone that and there are blessings all, all them three people yeah it's good to have know. someone that's willing to uh, you know guide you along the way and not be like well I see him trying to come up and do what we're doing yeah. fuck that you know what I mean it's yeah. good to see people yeah, exactly. who yeah. actually motivate you and like, come on you're coming with us we're all, all going to the top and, you know, and yeah. that's what we all got to do we all got to help each other you know there's exactly. different things that we don't know and the more you show the next generation yes. the next generation will learn it yes. exactly bro oh yeah bro what um uh, what is the name of your promotion company and how'd you guys come up with that name my name is uh takeover promotions um you know i just felt like i one day i want to take over the world oh, yeah. and i i just nice. ran with the name and i like the name takeover you know oh, yeah, they're yeah, here yeah. to take over and here here to help everybody and Stay work up, with everybody you know nice, so that's how i came up with the name wow. nice. and me and six were, were talking and like what do you call yourself and we're in his office, I still remember this, where, where uh, the old knockouts was, he turned it into the main event. Okay. We sat in his office and boom, I just ran with the idea. And that's why I named myself. Oh, yeah, Wasn't that on the west side? Yeah, right yeah, there, sure. the old knuckleheads. Yeah. 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 Right there. That's dope, yeah. What's, uh, when it comes to promotions and the shows that you've been a part of or thrown, what's one of the shows that stands out to you that you'll never forget you know what i mean something you were a part of and just one of your favorite man, I, shows i was a part of uh the what was it um man i can't believe i can't believe i what was that name um man i was with snow the product baby bash uh mc magic beza uh snow the product wasn't even as big as she she is now That's she was very started. certain yeah 
Oh man, what was it called? I can't even think of the name. Where was it at? It was at Santa Ana. Oh, at the Star uh, Center? Yeah. This was about five years ago, six years ago. Wow. Um, man, I can't think of the name, but that that's the show, you know, that, that really motivated me. Oh, yeah. To, to do it. To do you, it. Were, you were helping there? Yeah, I was, I was helping there. Uh, I was helping six. Oh, shit. And, uh, you know, I, so I got all my tips, studied it, and boom. Oh, yeah, bro. That's what's up. Shout out to six, Straight putting on for the city all the time. Okay, that's always. What's up, brother. Always. Um, what do you think about the local rap scene here in the city, and what do you think needs to be done for it to go mainstream? Let me just say that everyone got to stop picking at each other. Uh, the you. Facebook posts, the Straight negative. Up. If someone's doing it bigger Stay than that person, same. they're right there saying, no, I'm that guy. Yeah. 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 And you know what? Everyone just got to come together. That, right. That's the problem here is that nobody wants to work together. Somebody wants to just say, I did it. I did it before anybody. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. Yeah, that's all. We'll do it together. Yeah. I just got to work for Albuquerque. You know, it's time to wake up and start helping each other out. That's Straight the only way we're going to move mountains out. because... We can't go move the Sandias just with one person. We need a team pushing the mountains. Exactly. And we need to push over the, the hill together as one. And that's how Texas, you see Texas, that's how they, they blew do big, up. Bro. They blew up SPM. Paul Wow, you could go for days because the they all work the, they all, yeah. yeah, they all work together. They and, did, bro. Uh, 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 you know, they and, had and, their own styles, their own stuff to contribute. Straight and, up. Uh, people like And uh, we just lost uh, Mo3, you know what I'm saying? I know. Uh, Rest Rest in peace, in peace, Mo3, uh, Yellow Beezy, the same same way. Yellow Beezy, I don't know if you guys remember, we're going to bring Yellow Beezy and Mo3. Yeah, 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 Yellow yeah. Beezy had got shot last year around this oh, time. Shit. And then now all three went around this time. So, you know, that, that's what it is. It's always, there's jealous people. That's why they say when you get it, Get out of your city yeah. and come back and give back when, when the time that's is right. right. Yeah. Because the, people are, there's that jealous thing. Like, oh, he's doing it. He's doing he's it. He's I want to be the one. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah do how's it going up before me? Yeah. Where does he live? All that. Yeah. yeah, man, that's crazy. And that that is what happens here a lot. Like you said, it's the, I want to be the one. Yeah. Nah, you guys, yeah, you try. I want to be the Everyone wants to be the one, but yeah. like you said, it has to take everybody to contribute team, to that, yeah. to that, you know what I mean? To that, whatever we're trying to do, and then we all yeah. yep. come yeah. up together. We all open That's doors. One, one person opens the door, the, the next person's in the Straight door. Up. It's just like when you go to the store, the automatic doors. One yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it has to be. Exactly, brother. Uh, yeah. So what's your favorite venue that you have worked with out here in the city? Um, doing concerts or any type of promotions you've done? Man, I, I, I like Santa Ana a lot. I yeah. just like the, the classy look, you know, it's, it's, nice it's a nice arena and it, I mean that that's one of the part of the, one of the favorites. Uh, the UNM pit's nice as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. um, it's always gonna be the pit. Yeah. <laughs> the pit just like, it has just a nice no matter what seat you're on in the pit. It's a good it's view. It's a good bro. view, bro. Even if you think, no, oh, I'm at the top, I'm at the top. It's a good view. I still, was out bro. there watching uh, WWE. It was right there. So, yeah. Oh, that, what, bro? Like, yeah, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. So the pit, the, the star, the what star, else? Uh, you know, Tingley Coliseum's a, a unique, yeah. a unique yeah. building that oh, yeah. nice. that's very nice that and, and here. original. Yeah. 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 That goes back. Yes. <laughs> I've been to a lot of stuff at Team Yeah, yeah. I remember going to WWE when oh, I was little. Yeah. It wasn't WWE, it was WWF. I saw Kane, I remember Kane, seeing Kane, Kane and I was like, oh, I better go Kane. He was the only cool one that came to Albuquerque. Yeah. Everyone else was like, Steve Austin was called well, The Rock. Oh, you remember too? Steve Austin yeah, was The Rock. I wish I had saw that. That's cool. You guys don't probably don't know Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh, man, you're talking about ancient 90s, days. Bro. <laughs> I don't yeah, know about that. That's a West Coast scene. You guys can comment if you know them. Um, what do you think about the lowrider scene now in 2020 compared to the 90s? Man, the 90s, everyone just got along and, and did it big. Came together. Came together. Right now, you know, there's uh, different people putting on for the lowrider scene. And, uh, Straight up. You know, uh, Fernando Ortega oh, yeah. has been putting Straight on up. the, the for, for the city with the car hops. He, I mean, he holds a title. He yeah. smashes, yeah. bro. He smashes. Yeah, when Fern gets up there, you know, you know we're going for a ride. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you never know what's going to happen. You never know. Car yeah. holds his bus. Oh, my. I uh, saw that time the car exploded. Yeah, and you were in Colorado. It. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that uh, firm was trying to flip it for Junior. Uh, oh, rest yeah, in yeah, peace yeah. to the brother rest Junior. Uh, uh, to flip it for Junior, but Junior said, "No, you ain't flipping this car. You're gonna keep using it, and, and you're gonna keep. You gotta keep yeah, using yeah. it to win more. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's that's so, you know what? The lowrider scene. There's good people. You know, I, I love all the cruises that they're doing now. Yeah, but the, the, doing that. I don't. And, and, and I, I like I like the different scenery. You know, different spots and, and all that. You know. And, uh, just like the the West Central, all all that stuff. I try to support everybody, work with everybody. Yeah, yeah. I got no hate for anybody. Straight if you're up. doing something, you're doing something. I'm I'm gonna be there. 
and, and again in the in the low rider scene it sucks but i'm starting to see like you said you're supporting everything i go to everyone yeah, too that i can yeah, yeah. i'm starting to see people try to divide that too i'm like no, yeah that's, that's just we keep wherever there's something going on it's show just your support. face yeah. and everyone have a good time yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, straight up brother uh, so nice. what what influenced you? I know we already asked what influenced you to do the promotion thing, so I'm gonna switch this question and just ask like, what do you like most about the, the lowrider scene? Man, I just, I just love going out there and seeing everybody having a good time. You know, I, I'm the type of person that I like to see people smile. No, no. And you know, I, I go through hard times, yeah. just, just, just like everybody else, but you know what? I would love to just see us all smile at each other, wave at each other, because you know what, that could, change Follow someone's name yeah. yeah exactly and that that's who i am so when everyone's happy i'm happy you know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? and i'll try to turn any negative to a positive straight so up, to bro. see everybody out there together yeah coming together checking out the rides bringing out those nice rides that our garage kept you know yeah yeah, yeah. No, no, no. so that's, nice. that, that's why i like when everyone just comes together with their kids and we don't have those people shooting at each other it any seems of that negative. to bring the familia yeah. straight yeah. up bro i hear that Yes, sir. Um, what kind of advice do you have for anybody that's trying to become a promoter or an event planner? Man, just stay with it. Stay with it because you get the negative things. I, I've been through my up and downs, through my tears, through through my madness where I was yeah. mad and just want to break down and just say, you know what, just forget it. Forget it. I'm done with yeah. it. But you know what? Just stay with it and, and stay working and just uh, go with that integrity to be better and to... Learn, learn from every loss is there, there's a W right there. That's exactly. Right. I've learn always said it. that. You, yeah, you may lose money and here and there or lose with, something with else. Yeah, you've been with me when I've lost and you, you've if always... You, yeah, if you see it as, oh, I just lost, no, no, no. Then how are you ever going to come up and, and, and learn from you that? you got to invest always, in yourself. Yeah, and that's what most people that think. Lesson is the art, artist, too, you got to invest in yourself. you got to spend uh, money exactly. to... Yeah. That's how it costs money to make money. And you're going to lose. You're going to invest in yourself and lose, 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 lose. But it don't so mean you're gonna day, lose forever. Yeah, it just blow depends up. how hard you're working. If you give up, then you're gonna lose forever. You're yeah, gonna give up. And, and like I said, you know, my door is always open to anybody that wants to become a promoter, anyone that wants to stand behind me Seems and watch. Right. You know, I, I've learned from the big dogs in the oh, city, yeah. and uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning from the big well, dogs yeah, in Kelly yeah. now uh, that that are showing me. You know, oh, what yeah, I'm so like, there, like, yeah. So we're just trying to network and work with with everybody you know and i'm grateful to have those people that help me out here yeah yeah, yeah. yeah bro. <laughs> so uh, what do you think about rasa saying the n-word in their music and in their dialogue any type yeah. of i mean i know it's different in some places like in, 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 for most part. yeah and most people say it, but i i believe you know what you wouldn't like people saying wet back and everything and you know what I'm saying, or or white dude, or white boy, exactly. Or, or, you know, or, oh, but we're cool though. But we're cool though. We're so I could call him my cool. wet back. Yeah. yeah. No, you can't. No, I can't. It's still I, I, I just believe it's a disrespect if you're not in that race. Maybe they use it a different way, and, and that's their race. But, but, exactly. but we we got to be better because with all the hate in the world right now, you know, people might take that offensive and say, "No, and they have. Boom. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen it. it. I've seen it. So uh, I, I, I don't believe anybody should be checked, using that, and I see a lot of people on, on Facebook, like in different people, like from out of town, like they're sharing their posts, and it says and and this and and this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just don't agree with it. You know, that's not my cup of tea. I just my hey, if I call you my taco, you're the homie. You know I know, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, let's go get a taco because that everyone the tacos to everyone's oh, key yeah. heart. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It is street art. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what people have tried to do. They've tried to make it. Well, no, we say it with the A instead of the E R. It's like it yeah. still stems from that word yeah. that was created to hate and, on. And I have black down. brothers. You know what I'm saying? Black sisters. Straight up. Straight I, I gotta respect them. You know, I'll be Johnson and, and all my people. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? We we gotta. Respect them just the way they want. We want, we want the to same respect. respected ourselves. Give what exactly. you get. Exactly. Straight up to give what you get. Huh? Yeah, bro. Um, what more do you think could be done in the city, bro, to keep these kids busy and off the streets? Man, right now, like back in my day, we had dance dance. Uh, I the remember beach. that. Yeah. The yeah. beach. We had Kingdom Crunk in there. Uh, the yeah. 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 Oh my uh, god. We had the uh, skate palace back in my day. My auntie said, "Take me." You see, see the ghetto bird out there. Do you remember Roller Roller West before that? Yeah, yeah, that's what it Planet was. Planet Fun, Discovery Zone, that fucking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember all that. Yeah. And man, that, that's what I'm saying. That uh, this city it breaks my heart because there's these leaders in there that say they're for you, but yeah. they're not really for you. Um, I've watched it for these last few years, and uh, I don't believe 
city leaders are doing enough for the kids out here. Okay. Uh, they used to have the yeah. D.A.R.E. program. I think that's gone. I remember gone. that. You know what I'm saying? Too, that's gone? Yeah, I think that's gone. I, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, D.A.R.E. was a big thing. You used to see those commercials. Yeah. and You know what I'm saying? Say those drugs. Yeah, I exactly. And I, I just feel like the, these kids need more to do out here. I feel that we need to bring stuff. Uh, you know, Top Golf's cool. That that's cool, but most people don't like all that. Exactly, that's not, I, and that's I, that's I, for I, us to get I drunk and hit them. Yeah, that's for the grown man. You go yeah. drink, the, and the, the they make game. money off the liquor sales yeah. and this and that. But it's like it's not really they not for kids. Put something better there. People are drinking in there and they have kids, and someone fights and gets hit. And what if kills a kid? Exactly. They're gonna shut the place down. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm, I'm not hating on them. You know, most people are happy about yeah. it. That's cool. But I think there is more of that money that could have went to other things. I think we could open a water park. For the kids and, and maybe still have that but they you know all this money they're spending and and so much stuff i, I just i don't agree with that i, I think the art yeah. bus was a waste of money yeah the, uh, waste was the money. Doctor, there's, there's school. too many buses on the potential now yeah, right? exactly. yeah and what's the difference between the way the buses were up and if you guys don't know this is a, a poor state right now you know this, very state, poor, bro. This, this state's failing and everything and I just believe that we got to do more as a community for these kids because they are next generations. I'm sure you guys have oh, kids. Yeah. I don't have kids, but I have a nephew. Four boys. You know what I'm saying? So just having good. familia, just having a heart, and yeah. caring about. Damn, I don't want to be old and then see all these generations Terrorism. coming and rioting and yeah. robbing my old ass, and they're gonna, gonna be savages because what they're learning yeah. and that's yeah. what they're they doing. don't have nothing good to take their mind off doing crazy shit and all they're doing honestly is playing fucking Call of Duty and Call Fortnite. Of du Fortnite, bro. Like, they're, they're so stuck in the games, man. Straight up. And yeah. that's all they have. I the lie. technology's taking over. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, I wanted a PS5, but you know what? There's better Man, things you could do with $500. Yeah. Those but, PS5s uh, would be 200 in about exactly. two weeks. Oh yeah, bro. Same they they know, they know the they're gonna get people. Away. Away. And I'm all for the video games, if it does keep them out of the streets, streets. like we're talking about, you know what I mean? But well, maybe it keeps them more physical. It would be nice. Back in my day, we used to get the, the bikes and ride the bikes and put a I cannon know, back in the time. When you didn't have a dirt bike, you put the yeah. cannon there. Making ramps, yeah. 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 mud pies, just doing crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. Finding, yeah. finding little insects. And Socializing, bro. That's exactly. that we don't socialize nice. like that, it's a, it, This world's different right yeah. now. Very different. Very different. Yeah, see, so... We see that you push really hard for the children like we're talking about and you stand up to CYFD and other authorities and stuff like that. What motivates you to even do that? Like, like you said, you don't have kids. So you could honestly just be like, I don't give a shit. That's not my this problem. A, what makes you... A yeah. touchy subject, you know, and... Uh, sorry, I have no, to pause no, you're good, brother, you're good. I did it because of uh, little Victoria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a man, you know, but when something hurts your heart, you just let it out. And that's how I've always been. And I, I feel that, you know, she didn't deserve to die like that. And that was my changing point that I didn't know what I was going to be. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know what I was going to be here for. And when I seen her, I uh, heard the story, you know, just my heart broke. Yeah, I, I got upset, you know, and I just said that we got to do something. And ever since, I just stayed with it. Exactly. And it's been hard. Because before that, I remember I was working... I don't know if it was like around 2015 maybe. Remember little Omari? Yeah, little Omari. Omari. Remember yeah. what, what happened to him? Now I think that oh, was almost wrong, out or said. something. And, uh, and we didn't really see much real justice. And like you yeah. said. It's like these kids are, are, are crying for help, bro. Nobody's doing nobody's nothing. Nobody's answering. Omari, I believe, Omari called the cops like five times, five four times. Five times. And the mom said, I kicked him wrong. Yeah. And then he That's told the, he was like scared. Like that should have been the breaking point. Like we got to get him out of this house. See, this Straight kid's, up. Yeah. Five times. If the cops are gonna go to your house by accident, I feel CYFD oh, and APD on. has uh, felt these kids. Yeah, uh, straight up. You know, from from getting beat. You know, and and now these kids are are in their house. They're in their house. And we don't know what's going on behind During doors. This these kids are being touched. Oh. I, I I was thinking of that, and I was seeing something where I said. Oh, during quarantine, CYFD cases have been down. Yeah, who, those kids can't really get out they of the house and go out tell out anybody what's going on. And, and they're, they're, they're getting safest a double time right now. Their you know? safest place was at school, and you think they're going to say something on a computer? Or, yeah, exactly. Oh, them, and most of these kids don't have computers right now. You know, there's a lot of kids without computers. Kids ain't, some kids ain't blessed like we are, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. I, I was never the type of kid that wanted Jordans or anything. I was just happy to have a pair of there's shoes. Whatever, my pair mom of pants. Yeah, we do. Yes. And my mom was a single parent, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And my mom my mom made sure me and my bro had, had yeah. enough to uh, get us through. Hell yeah, bro. That's what's so man. But um, I'm going to have to ask you a personal question, brother. Uh, we've noticed yeah. that you've lost a lot of weight. 
Um, do you want to touch on that yeah, and let us know? That's cool with me because you know what? I'm, I'm not scared to stand up on my two feet still. I have uh, diabetes and I, mm -hmm. I've been battling it for, uh, since I believe 2016. I was uh, at Kirkle Banks. Man, I got drunk the next day, woke up in the hospital. And uh, you know what? Six of them were, uh, were out in uh, Las Cruces. Six flew, uh, drove back that same night. Uh, the, the next day and I uh, went to go see him in the hospital with ramps and uh -huh. you know and my auntie Sonia and just you know um, right there I, I just never gave up yeah. I never gave up uh, my mom and my family and a lot of friends and a lot of supportive people were on the side of me mm -hmm. and that's why I tell people you know what if you're battling something don't be scared because you know what God Everybody. only God knows when it's going to take your time the way I see it yeah I try to take my medication I try to stay up to date but the way I see it, when God calls you, God calls you. Calls ain't, ain't no pill going to save you. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no uh, uh, insulin going to save you. And, and people might think different, but my mentality is uh, I get up every day still, and I go to work, and I push myself I'm to, uh, to act start, like yeah. I'm normal. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And sometimes I look in the mirror, I'm like, wow, the skinny, it gets me frustrated. But then I say, no, you're, you're going to go be a voice, and you're going to make somebody else oh, yeah. uh, beat their disease and, and just get through it you know yes yeah, motivate yeah. others yeah. too yeah. exactly and that yeah that's why i lost a lot of weight you know if people are like oh my god josh you're on drugs that haven't seen me i'm like Tch. yeah if i'm if I'm on my drugs you think i'm gonna be out here yeah, show them, look, look, exactly. in the street. Exactly. And, and you know what i'm saying so that's probably the most hardest part is when you get questions like that I so know, I, I always tell people you know like if i was on drugs like it's because you know it's been asked plenty of times in the club like are you doing drugs are you doing this and I'm, i get frustrated i'm like just get away bro like you're drunk you're asking me this I'm yeah, gonna, yeah, the way yeah, they yeah, come yeah. off yeah, yeah exactly. it's, just, it's just like they want to know but they really they can re really not be your friend you know they just want to know and just be nosy they, they want to be talk to about it yeah, well, yeah, yeah i talked to him he's yeah. not doing that but you know what? i just i just tell people stand up on your two feet and and fight like johnny toppy did johnny, yeah and johnny toppy has been been through the worst and you know what he did a lot for albuquerque an and he showed, he showed people yeah. to john jones had, had a problem too, you know, and and these guys are, are fighters, so no one's perfect. Nobody's exactly. perfect, bro. And I don't judge anybody, you know, oh, and I, no, no. I pray for the people that are sick and people that are fighting diseases because it's not a fun fight, but I'm yeah. still here. I'm You're blessed to be here with the guys. Yeah. Thank, you, awesome. to have you, bro. Thank you, my brother. Keep on pushing. So the reason I made a weird face is because he messed up the questions. <laughs> uh, the next question after that, or what was the it? next question would be, do you have any advice for anybody that may be going through the same thing that you just explained? Oh man, man, just uh, stay focused and uh, you know stay stay fighting because you know what we're in this fight together. Don't ever feel that you're alone. Talk to somebody. Reach out to me. I don't care. Reach out to anybody that you feel comfortable. My door is always open and uh, you know I just say you know what we gotta fight it and we just gotta get through it. Yeah. And have good. that faith, like yeah. you said. And we're still here, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Just keep your head up. Yeah, straight up, up right? So now, to back to the question that we messed up. Yes. Do you have anything big planned for 2021? Oh, yeah. And where do you see yourself five years from today, bro? 2021, we're coming hard. Uh, we got the Zap four-year anniversary coming oh, August 7th, 2021. We're just praying this virus is over and we can get back to work. That way it, that date moves. It doesn't move again. again. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, and you know what? Just to let everybody know that your tickets, if you bought them, they're still valid. We apologize. Nobody expected this disease to shut down a whole nation. Oh, no. And uh, you, you know what, 2021 is going to be bigger. We got Young Jock coming out and uh, we got the Zaps 40 year anniversary though, uh -huh. August 7th, uh, 2021, confirmed date already at Real Rancho Event Center. It's called Real Rancho Event Center now. Okay. Okay. So they changed their name. They're, they're trying yeah, to open yeah, it up yeah. different. Okay. And now we got Zaps, Stevie B, we got MC Magic Legends coming out here. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That way you guys know everything is still locked in. It's just because of the virus, it keeps moving. So those artists, they are, they're paid to do that show. Their flights, have probably been yeah, postponed to today. Uh, it's gonna happen, so just shout, shout out to uh, Bobby D Presents and uh, Uncle Snoop's Army, Snoop Dogg, Bobby D, uh, Ryan, uh, you know, the whole team that, that's uh, making it possible and that put it in my hands to, to run the promotion out here and promote for them and to show them that. To help, to show, help. show them that you, you could do this. You, you know? yeah. So yeah. I want to thank them for giving me the shout opportunity. Shout out to you guys. And thank you guys oh, for yeah. still bringing it. Yep, exactly, oh, yeah. bro. Shit. And uh, you said where I see myself in five years? Yeah. I hope I see myself a little bigger. <laughs> little weight, hopefully that comes. Um, five well, years old, I, I, yeah. I hope to be in, uh, 
in the office. I, I really hope to be something in, in council or whatever it may be. I hope to run for to really somebody. be helping. To yeah, really yeah. be, yeah. be I see pushing you something like that. My goal is, you know, hopefully, God blesses me with with uh, something, you know, some type of business where I could help kids and uh, you know try to take them under my wing and try to show them that you know there's there's a lot of stuff that you could do if you put your mind to it and anything's possible. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why I want to be in five years. Is I want to be helping kids. I I want to. That's why I want my full time job to be to so really step and, in to help you. Yeah. That. yeah. Start a program. Yeah. That'll be good, bro. Oh, bro, that you changed so much lives. I see like in Thank Texas you, right now because of the. You know, the kids in cages I've seen in Texas, the way they're able to help get those kids out, people have to be willing to first adopt those kids. Yeah, and then right. what you do is you adopt them. And then there's a process where they help the, 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 the people that adopt them and the kids find their real parents. And then you unite them with their real parents. So it's a process, but... At least you know, at least something, if you're mind. able to get into stuff like that, you'll be able to get your foot in there and really make a change. Bro. Yeah, 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 that's what, that's what I want to do, so that's what I hope I am in five years. That'll be dope. That's what's up, bro. See you there, bro. Uh, where can people find you on social media and keep up with you on the Man, uh, you can find me on Facebook at Josh Fettis. You can find me on Instagram at Unique Duke City 505. You can find me on TikTok now, TikTok, yeah. uh, Unique 505. Uh, you know, just, those are some of the places where you can find me. You can find me in the city in Albuquerque. I don't hide. I, I, I'd be all over. I'd be in the know, street. You yeah, see me, yeah. run up to me, ask me questions, whatever you want to do. You want to slap me a little bit? Tell me. That. <laughs> nah, yeah. you don't want to do that. You might get, you might get beat up. Nah, yeah. Josh is a, a good no, dude. My door's always open to anybody in, in New Mexico. I don't care where you're from because at the end of the day, we're all together. Any other states, anyone dealing with suicide, depression, <clears throat> and my, my line's always open. That's yeah, what's up, bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. You're a real one. Thank you, my brother. You're a real one. Is there anybody you would like to shout out or anything that you want to let people know about? Tell the people watching. Man, I want to shout out uh, my bro Junior, uh, who's oh, yeah. passed away, who's That's always the been there for me with, uh, with with everything. You know, he gave me a car. Everybody thinks it's sold right now, but I got plans for it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say a uh, shout out to my artist, the Dreamer, who uh, helped me in 2016 before he passed. Rest in um, peace. You know, his anniversary is coming up, and uh, you know, he, he's really been a big part of my life, you know, I didn't think we were going to connect and next thing you know, I was managing him. Tell him where you're trying to help him. Oh, yeah, bro. So I was blessed uh, to, to be in his presence. Uh, man, if you're in my circle, you know who you are. I don't got to say names, just thank you guys for always motivating me and anybody in the city, anybody on my social media, you guys are the real deal. You guys are what keeps me uh, going. So I just want to shout out to everybody because everybody's done their part in my life when I'm feeling down, when I'm going through anything. But uh, the real big shout out goes to my mom for bringing me in this world. Yeah, and yes, my sir. mom's uh, my queen. I see you close up there. Yes, yeah, we, oh, yeah. We, we, I mean, I, I rough wore up oh, a little yeah. bit with pranks and you know, yeah. but that's my mama. <laughs> that's all love. And, that's all love. Anyone touching my mama, it's, it's a whole other thing. So, so that that shout mama. out to my mama. Shout out to to uh, the UFC fighters, John Jones, who, who's also been a motivation in, in my life. Yep. And, you know, to show you that you could get knocked down and you could get back up. Any anybody nice, that's yeah. been around me oh, knows yeah, who they are. Jeff and everybody, you know, uh, so my family is important though too. Yeah, and then um, is there anything you want to let them know about? Anything coming up that you want to, you know, yeah. throw out there? Just get ready for 2021. It's gonna be a whole different year, I think. Different. By God's grace, hopefully we will have this this vaccine and everything Control, will slow yeah. down. Control the uh, governor. I don't, even, I can't even say nothing to you, but yeah. man, you're you're killing a lot of businesses. Uh, I hope Hopefully. you open up the city the right way, and I understand we got to be safe, but you know, Walmart, Home Depot, Costco, Lowe's, all these people—they got to shut down too. Then, yeah, you know what I mean. It's, all these people uh, are still open. People who can't cut hair, but you could take your I dog know. to go get groomed. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Hey, and uh, to New Mexico, stop taking all the toilet paper and being greedy oh, and all the food. Because if I don't get my turkey, <laughs> you're gonna see me at your door. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You guys better Hell leave yeah. us a turkey. Leave us a fucking. <laughs> A ham, all that shit, because we need some too. We all got it. And our chili, most important, because we put that shit in the mashed potatoes. So exactly. Don't be, don't be exactly. taking all that stuff. Oh, that's that's our we game. have to ask you this last question, brother. What's your favorite restaurant in the city? Your favorite restaurant. Man, I'm going to have to go with uh, Marisco's, my brother Hector. Marisco's. Takes care of me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. I get the shrimp over there, the Which fish. Which one do you go to? Uh, the one on Corzin, Corzin uh, I-40, yeah. 
Is that a La Playa or No, no, that's the other one. That, that, Altamar. We don't, we, we, yeah, well, Altamar. Yeah, that, yeah, that one's we, a good one. Yeah, yeah, San, one. San Mateo, yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to talk about that. But <laughs> we're going to talk about Mariscos. And I also yeah. got to give a shout out to El Modelo. Modelo. They got the best uh, stuff. So, 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 if you stop through Albuquerque, if you're not from here, try. If you want Mexican food, try Mariscos on Coors. If you mm -hmm. want New Mexican, Delicious food, El Modelo. El Modelo. Really good, really good, oh, really good. Open since I was a little South Yes, Mexico, it's bro. Yeah. So so good food. Terry. Uh, well, Josh, this brings our questions and interview to an end. We look forward to seeing you out there doing what you like. Thank you. Do, you know what I mean? Thank you, so Josh's brother. Thank you, brother. Hey, hey, shout out to Chicano Rap TV. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chicano Stock, baby. Chicano yeah. Stock. Yeah. Shout out to you. Um, you guys stay tuned. If you guys want to see anybody specific, like we said, just drop a comment. It's our first That's interview, so we hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you to Josh for it. And if you don't time. subscribe, I'm going to have Debo at your door. And he's going to see what the FBI investigators yeah. Because I know some of you be doing illegal stuff on PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> talking all that crap. Talking PlayStation. He's going to get you. And he's going to take you over to the FBI for all the people you're talking shit to outside this world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Thank subscribe to this right now. Later, right, guys. Later. Peace. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching the interview. Shout out to Josh Gracias. Perez for joining us. Gracias, As we mentioned in the last videos, we got to do our 200 subscriber giveaway. Thank you all for subscribing to our channel, watching our videos, all that stuff, interacting. We need more interaction, so comment, comment, comment. Share, share, Get on your share. phone and comment from your phone. If you don't know how to make a account, you just have to have a little Gmail, Google account, and you can make a, a, a YouTube account, then you could subscribe. Easy, It's pretty easy, but uh, the same rules as last time. Screenshot this interview right here and share it on your Instagram page. Tag me, tag OGD, and tag like 10 to 20 people and uh, let them know what the pages are in your little description let them know what the video and the channel is about and shit that way hopefully they'll be like oh that sounds cool let me go and click on it and check it out you know what i mean and we're gonna keep our eyes on that whoever uh, screenshots it shares it tags us and then come back to our youtube channel and put hashtag done, done in the comments you gotta do all that yeah we're gonna look all and see it. who put hashtag done then we're gonna see did they did they tag us yeah. did they tag multiple people it's a hundred bucks it's a hundred bucks oh little... we didn't even mention yeah it's oh yeah bucks. my bad it's a hundred dollar giveaway yeah. we wanted to do a little something more but we're just gonna do another hundred dollar giveaway time we've been come, making you guys wait so do that real quick and we will announce the winner in our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Much love and respect. Peace. You know, you know, there's so much more to this life than all this materialistic bullshit. bullshit. And all this trying to be better than somebody. Better than somebody. That shit ain't cool neither, homie. That shit ain't cool. We just gotta stay focused on what really matters in life.